On this day in 1896, Brisbane was abuzz with excitement. In the early afternoon, Lord and Lady Lamington were due to arrive at Petrie's Bight, where Custom House stands via the Brisbane River. In anticipation, the entire length of Queen Street had been lined with buntings and floral tributes of palm trees and ferns, accompanied by numerous flags and three triumphal arches. At the top of Queen Street, the decorations continued around the corner into George Street and ran all the way to Government House, Lord Lamington's final destination. For today, he'd be sworn in as the new Governor of Queensland. From early in the morning, the residents of Brisbane began to line the procession route in the hope of catching a glimpse of the new governor on his way to Government House. As a special treat, the Queensland Railways Department had offered half-price excursion tickets, up to 100 miles distant, ensuring residents from as far afield as Toowoomba and Gympie would be extended a subsidised opportunity to attend. By the time of his arrival at Customs House at 2.30pm in the afternoon, it was estimated that over 100,000 people had made the pilgrimage into Brisbane, a phenomenal number that almost rivals current events in the city. After Lord and Lady Lamington were received by the Mayor on behalf of the people of Brisbane and had aptly responded in kind, the massive procession began up Queen Street. Of major interest to all in attendance was the Indigenous Guard of Honour, comprised of 20 Indigenous men representing their various tribes and dialects from across southeast and central Queensland. The men had dressed in regalia and war paint specific to their regions in the grounds of the museum before moving on to Howard Smith's Wharf in anticipation of the Governor. After performing a traditional song for the Governor in welcome, the men took pride of place at the head of the procession as it moved off along Queen Street. A contingent of the mounted infantry, the police and the fire brigade proceeded closely behind, followed by members of the Executive Council, the Legislative Council and the Legislative Assembly. As each contingent and escort passed by the landmarks along the route, they were greeted with massive cheers from the jostling crowd. Along the route, in their excitement to spy the new governor, about 50 people climbed onto the large awning of Messrs Allen and Stark's drapery shop in Queen Street, hoping for a better vantage. As Lord and Lady Lamington approached, the awning collapsed under their weight, plunging at least 20 of the sightseers four metres downwards into Queen Street. The procession was halted momentarily, and the surrounding crowd immediately rushed in to help where they could picking up the injured and carrying them to a nearby chemist store for treatment. Further people who grabbed portions of the awning on their way down were left dangling precariously in the air, having to be lowered. Of the 20 onlookers who plummeted earthwards, nine suffered from relatively serious injuries, including a mix of severe bruising, fractured ribs and broken hips. Governor Lamington would visit the sufferers at the Brisbane General Hospital the next morning in order to express his deep regret at the occurrence and also to offer his condolences. On arrival at Government House, the new governor was met by the judges of the Supreme Court and the ceremony of swearing in commenced shortly after three o'clock. On completion, a number of speeches and addresses of welcome were delivered by representatives of the various authorities and municipalities across Queensland before the Governor finally made his way to the Government Domain in order to review the troops before the ever-present crowd. Interestingly, popular belief holds that the famous Aussie Lamington, our coconut sprinkle cake treat, was named in honour of Lord Lamington during his time as Governor of Queensland. Furthermore, it's also popularly held that the treat was first invented within the kitchen of Brisbane's Government House. Recent reports, however, claim that whilst Lord Lamington was the namesake of our most iconic bakery treat, he actually hated eating them. <laughs>